Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about one of the most controversial races in the Olympic history. The women 400 meter finals at the 2016 Olympics, which happened to be the same Olympics that I competed at. This is the race where Sharon Miller of the Bahamas ended up winning the gold medal with what appears to be a dive at the end. This was one of the most mean races in track and field history. Check out some of the few funniest ones I was able to come across. This was one of the most controversial races in track and field history, with people still debating to this day. Did she die? Did she fall? Was it even legal? People even accused her of stealing the medal from Alison Felix. Welcome back, my name is Fitzroy Dunkley, Olympic medalist. Thank you for tuning into the channel. I've seen the views have been going up, and that's an indication to me that you guys have been enjoying the content so far. But still, 98% of people who have been watching the video have not subscribed yet. And look, I understand, it's a new channel, you guys don't know how long I'm gonna be around but trust me, I'm committed to this YouTube thing and there's going to be more content, more high quality like you guys are loving so far. So, just commit a little bit. Hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there subscribing, just hit the like button too. And share this video with your friends because it's going to be a good one. Today we're going to settle this debate once and for all. And we're going to finalize. Did she dive or did she fall? There's even a clip of Shawnee Miller talking about this incident. And we're going to talk about that and I'm going to share my thoughts on it. Let's talk about that final 100 meters of that race. I'm a 400 meter runner too. And I know that that final 100 meters can be brutal. You want to stay as relaxed as possible. And one of the things that you don't want to do is tighten up your face. Now you might think it's a small thing, but it was one of the problems that I had. Once you tighten up your face, your neck starts to tighten up and that moves on to your shoulders. Once your shoulders are tight, you can't move your arms how you want and that starts to decrease your speed even more. Your last 100 meters of a 400 meters is going to be your slowest part of your race and you want to decrease speed slower than anybody else. Once your competitor sees that you're slowing down, that gives them some type of motivation to go and try to get you. And I think that's what happened when Alison Felix saw that Shawnee Miller was slowing down. She got motivated and she was coming for her. Let's take a look back at the race. As you can see in slow motion replay, Miller was leaning towards the finish line to dip. A technique used by every track runner to shave off those precious seconds. Miller leaned forward too much and fell towards the line. Shawnee Miller talked to the Olympics about this dive. Let's listen to what she said. I've met a lot of people um, afterwards too that came to me in, in such an inspiring way where you know they were just telling me that you know I inspired them to actually go after it and, um, and you know I had a lot of people who came to me and they said you know after we saw what you did and everything else you know it made me dive into my dreams and, and go after them even harder. As you can see Charlie Miller embraced a the dive theory yeah it was very motivational a lot of people was inspired by it but I'm going to have to respectfully call some cap on that because I don't believe that she intentionally dived. I think she was dipping for the line but ended up leaning forward too much and subsequently fell. And I wouldn't say she outright fell due to the pressure from Alex and Felix because she still seemed within herself. She was just dipping for the line too early because this was the gold medal at the Olympics. Think about it, what would you do if you were going for gold to win something for your country, your family and yourself? I want to show you guys a little bit what I'm talking about when you're leaning towards the line but end up leaning forward too much. If you can, we will have to wait there for the photo finish. It was so close. Cherry. Michael and Karani was dipping for that line hard, but Michael wanted it more. As you can see, he started to lean towards the line a little bit early, and that ended up making him fall at the end. Oh, and by the way, it was 100% legal to do that. You want to see what a dive looked like? Here's a clip of a dive. And nobody talked about him stealing that medal. As a matter of fact, he won a lot of awards on that, as he rightly should have. That was a great dive, and he did what he needed to do to win that race. Despite the controversy surrounding her victory, Miller proudly stood on the podium receiving the gold medal for her incredible performance. Congrats to Alison Felix, who had a great career, and I was a part of one of the best moments in track and field. And I want to tell people, she did not get robbed. Look, it was a great race. Alison was coming back in that last 100 meters, but the person who wanted it more ended up winning, and that's the end of it. So, to end the debate once and for all, she did not dive, she did not fall. She was leaning forward too much. It was simply a technique gone wrong in her dipping. She dipped too early and it malfunctioned. Either way, it led to her winning the gold medal. So I'm pretty sure she's not going to be complaining. Shawnee or Allison, if any of you guys are watching it, somebody send this to them. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Do you agree with my theory of what happened? The fans still want to know. It's still up in the air. And everybody, what do you guys think? Do you agree with my theory? Or do you guys have a different reason for what happened? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.